Hello, welcome back. I'm the Erroneous Kaiser. You're watching another one of my comic book pull lists. This is for the month of May. I get these comic books from Discount Comic Book Service, or DCBS, as I'll be calling them from now on. I do live in Japan, uh, so there is a bit of a delay. These are comics that have come out in probably early April and are just getting to me now. These are the new issues that I'll be reading this month. Alright, first up, this is the only new series that I'll be picking up this week. This is number one of Brothers Dracul from Aftershock Comics. This is a third series that Colin Bunn is writing for Aftershock Comics, and I think the premise is pretty cool. It's about the two brothers, uh, so Vlad Tepes Dracul uh, and his brother, uh, them growing up together, and how, I think, how Vlad then becomes Dracula. Alright, next up, this is issue 5 of Marvel 2-in-1. This won't be a very long series, because we know that the Fantastic Four will be coming back all together pretty soon. Um, but here we have The Thing and Johnny Storm. Uh, they are losing their powers because there's some dynamic that the Fantastic Four, if they're not close enough, that they'll lose their powers. So this is the lead up to them finding th their Earth's Reed and Sue. Another series that's been going on for a little while, but that I really do enjoy, so I decided to get the floppies, is Aquaman. Uh, so far, uh... Aquaman has been dethroned, uh, and this is I think this is going to show a little bit of the backstory of the guy who has taken over. Uh, Mira is on land, she can't help, uh, and so this is all about uh, Aquaman going into kind of the, the underclass, the, the poor people of, of society, and he, some of the criminal elements to try to get them to help him take back his throne. Uh, we do see, yeah, Dolphin's been in here for a little while. Uh, and the, the art inside has been really good uh, for the most part. Uh, there have been some revolving artists, but uh, I, I've been really enjoying it. And so this is definitely going on my regular pull from now on. All right, next up is issue two of Gideon Falls, a uh, book by Jeff Lemire, art by Andrea Sorrentino. I don't know how to say it. Andrea, Andrea, I'm not sure. Well, I'm not the biggest fan of Andrea Sorrentino's art. I am a huge fan of Jeff Lemire's story writing. First issue was very cool. Uh, I think it's going to go some very dark places, and I'm very excited about it. All right, next up we have issue two of Oblivion Song. This is by Robert Kirkman. You know, you might know his name from writing other things like Walking Dead, uh, Invincible, uh, Outcast. Uh, I'm not really that big of a fan of Outcast though. Ended on kind of a really nice cliffhanger for issue one, and I'm uh, yeah, uh, Robert Kirkman definitely does write some really good stuff most of the time. We got uh, two issues of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is 80. Uh, this is Invasion of the Triceratons Part 5, which I think is the final part in this arc. And here we have issue 81, which is starting a new arc, uh, and which I think will involve the Rat King. Exo Man of War, this is number 12, and this is 13. There is just a whole bunch of turmoil uh, within the planet that now uh eric is the emperor of his friends and allies uh or very quickly uh turned around to try to I don't know, get him out of power and it seems like maybe some of them their motives are actually altruistic uh however others are a little bit more shady but overall it is amazing storytelling here we have wonder woman this is number 43 and 44. Now, both of these are the Jenny Frizon variants, or the B variants for these. I'm excited that I think in two months, uh, or a month and a half or something like that, we're going to have Art Germ doing some covers as well. Uh, I think I might have to get both the A and B covers if, that, if and when that happens. Avengers No Surrender Part 11, Part 12, Part 13. And I still believe not the end quite yet, part 14. I said before I was a little disappointed with the unoriginality of this whole arc, uh, but it is still entertaining. All right, here I have Descender number 28. Man, an amazing comic. It's another one by Jeff Lemire. As I said before, I'm really a fan of his writing. Right, here we have Batman number 43, continuation of this Poison Ivy storyline that started the last time. 
And then number 44, Batman and Catwoman are getting married soon, uh, which is in the comic world, the bigger of two weddings that are happening right now. Marvel tried to push their way in there and get Kitty Pride and Colossus married, but nobody really cares about that as much as Catwoman and Batman getting married, seriously. So Thanos, number 17, we have Cosmic Ghost Rider on the cover there. And Thanos 18, uh, we have Thanos and old Thanos, uh, or old man Thanos, if you want to say it like that, uh, fighting there on the cover. Uh, I think this might be the last issue. If not, if it's not the last, it's um, very close to it. But this uh, series is definitely coming to a close very soon, if not with this issue. A Red Hood and the Outlaws 21. Uh, this is something that I think is just really good fun. Uh, I really do like this series a lot. I say that about everything. I say that about every comic, though. Harrow County 29. Uh, so, this comic, I didn't even know it until like two or three days ago. This comic uh, has been optioned for a TV show, which I think is totally awesome. Uh, I mean, well, I mean that happens to a lot of Dark Horse comics. Uh, they don't really go up in value, but they do get optioned for TV and movies a lot, don't they? Okay, we're coming up on a big mono market for Spider-Man. This is 798, 800 coming up very soon and probably a hundred different covers with it. Uh, but uh, there has been a lot of talk about this arc right here with uh, well, Red uh, Goblin coming up uh, with a f of hopefully here, I guess, with a full reveal of who actually is Red Goblin. And I still think it's just gonna be Norman Osborn. Right, and Dark Knight's Metal number six of six. So this is the final issue in this series. I do hear things that the uh, fans were disappointed that it got like wrapped up too quickly. It just uh, came to everything came to a head to, and was over too quickly. And I guess that was kind of disappointing. Uh, just looking from the cover there, uh, we I'm guessing that they just get a whole bunch of good Batmans from different universes and take out the bad Batmans. All right, this is a series we got. A quite a ways to still to go this is number four of 12 of doomsday clock i'm still not sure why rorschach's a black dude um and i'm sure they've kind of hinted at stuff but maybe not fully explained it or maybe i'm just too dumb and missed the explanation but either way this is really cool i really am enjoying it part five of another six part series this is a demon hell is earth all right, Moon Knight 193. Uh, yeah, this is going in, well, new directions, if not amazing, but I still think they're pretty good. All right, here we have another milestone. This is Saga number 50. Uh, Brian K. Vaughn uh, is an amazing writer. Fiona Staples is an amazing artist. This combination is so sweet. All right, this is definitely has been for a while and still is my favorite comic book. Uh, if you have not read this, you really, really need to give it a try. But I, I can't imagine uh, somebody watching this video who, who, uh, who does collect comic and read comics who hasn't read this though. It is so blow away. Uh, not for the younger audience though, so if you're under 18, uh, ask your mom first? I don't know. All right, there you have it. Those are the new issues that I'm going to be reading this month. If you're looking for something to read, maybe check out some of those. If you got something to say, make sure you leave it down in the comments below. If nothing else, I do hope that you enjoyed yourself. I'm the Erroneous Kaiser. I'll see you next time.